Welcome. Now, why she get on the camera with this crooked little? Okay. Um. All right. So, I want to give a shout out to those who are inspired and therefore inspiring today. Um, my name is Amira. Thanks for being here on the channel with me. I wanted to come on here and um, <clears throat> provide some spiritual guidance, okay? Because that's what I love to do. Um, I want to start with the personal power oracle cards. Yeah, like I said, I'm Amira. I'm a spiritual practitioner. Clinician, uh, tarot and subconscious exploration advocate. <laughs> but yeah, let's start with the personal power oracle. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel as well. Connect with me directly if you're in need of guidance or support. I'm thirsty. Goodness. I hope you're all well. Um, whenever you're watching this, wherever you're watching this. Okay. What season are we in? We're in Leo season. Okay. What's the message for the people today? What do they need to know about their own personal power? I am fearless and I am beautiful, 33 and 29. I'm a little farther away today. I wanted to change the camera angle so that the cards can be seen somewhat, you know. It is what it is, child. And I am unbreakable at the bottom of the deck. So you may be working through some fears. All right, we have Aries here. Fears about yourself, about who you are, about how you show up, about about your, definitely about your appearance, okay? Maybe there's some change in your appearance or your appearance has changed or, or the way that you even just in general appear to other people has changed. I feel like there are some fears around this. Okay. So you look different for whatever reason. <clears throat> All right, but you're beautiful. You are, you're beautiful. Okay. Maybe you're telling yourself this or you need to. I feel like there's some kind of What's the word? I'm hearing impropriety. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not even sure <laughs> what that means off the top of my head. Let's look it up. What I was going to say before I even press. Um, there's some kind of boundary crossing. Like somebody crossed a boundary here. Okay. I'm hearing in your past, but yeah. Obviously, this is this is past tense. Okay, it doesn't have to be for all of you, but that's what's how it's coming out. There's some kind of boundary violation. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's see what this means. A failure to observe standards or show due honesty or modesty. Wow. Improper language, behavior, or character. Oh my, misconduct. Some kind of misconduct. It seems deliberate, okay, is what I want to say. Um, but yeah, somebody crossed a boundary? All right. But you're showing up as fearless and unbreakable, all right? Maybe whatever this was, it was harsh. Um, it was meant to break you, meant to break your spirit, meant to break um, 
your belief in yourself or how you see yourself. Sorry, my lips feel like super greased up all of a sudden. <laughs> um, yeah. What's that ADHD? That's a good song though, gotta admit. All right, let's see what the DDT deck has to say today. A little DBT. Oh, I forgot I put those in there. <laughs> totally forgot I added to this deck. That was a nice surprise. Hmm. All right, are you surprising yourself in the same way? All right. I feel like you're admiring yourself differently or you, you are, yeah. Admiring your changes or admiring your your breakthroughs, like admiring what you've experienced. Um, I don't know how to say it. It's like Venus, you know, or, or Jupiter even. Okay. So you're growing. Yeah, and beautifully. I feel like I feel like you are proud of your growth or, or there's a need to be proud of your growth. All right, your wounds tell stories, your scars, <laughs> I heard have remarks. Okay, that's interesting. That reminds me of like other people's opinions. All right, maybe people have an opinion on how you look, your tattoos or um, how you carry yourself. All right, but just remind yourself that you're beautiful. You're, you're beautiful. <laughs> that's it, that's all you need to know, you know? It comes from inside because you are so fearless, because you're showing up fearlessly yourself. That makes you beautiful, period. Everyone will have an opinion or a remark. Irrelevant, really. You know your story and how you came to be. You know the reason that you woke up this morning. All right. And if you don't, I urge you to identify that thing. Okay. I forgot to set a timer, oh my gosh. I need to rectify that, honestly, because I always forget to set a timer. That's a lot, but we're gonna take it. They're all emotion regulation. Then you have the distress tolerance improve. Look at these beauties that I created. Ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? <laughs> I'm such a dork. Yeah. Mm. Oh, dang, there's four. I didn't even see this other one. They are all emotion regulation, literally. All right. Okay. I feel like your anxiety is trying to tell you something, but you're not listening to it. <laughs> All right. Um, there's something significant here as well about time. Okay, maybe you feel like you don't have time or time is like, what's the word? Um, I'm hearing like beneath you or beside you, okay? So you don't have control over the timing of something. You, I feel like you can't, this is so weird. It's like you can't um, find the right time for something. It's like time keeps slipping away or you keep missing an, a particular opportunity, but it's because, yeah, you're, you're procrastinating because you're anxious. It's if <laughs> I'm seeing like somebody, um, playing double dutch, but you know what I mean? Like they keep missing their end because they're just, it's like, oh, I don't want to get hit by the, by the rope or I don't want to get, I don't want to, um, excuse me. I don't want to be embarrassed if I fall or trip or don't make it this round. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to go too soon. I don't want to go too late. Should I jump on my left foot, my right foot? Like, <sighs> And all this time, you're missing the opportunities. Okay, that's how I'm seeing it. 
So somebody's worried about embarrassment or yeah, other people's opinions or the the support that they have. I feel like you're worried about the support that you have or will have or or how that will shift and change and how you will overcome. But but you're fearless and unbreakable and beautiful, so you will. All right. I feel like you're stressing yourself out. All right, emotion regulation. Emotion regulation skills decrease vulnerabilities to intense emotions, increase positive emotions, build a sense of confidence and competence, and allow people to act opposite to behaviors that keep them stuck in unwanted emotions. Yeah. Now it's taking me back to the impropriety, all right? Because that was talking about behaviors as well negative behaviors or it's like doing something that you know is not the best thing it's also taken me to um uh what is it called what is it called um dang it give me a second Um, demand avoidance okay demand avoidance uh, you, you maybe you're neurodivergent too or you um, you're dealing with somebody who is or or somebody yeah somebody's having a challenge in emotion regulation I mean that can be for various reasons that can also be a trauma response right Emotion regulation is a particular part in the brain and it can be affected. So sorry. It can be affected um, for different reasons. Maybe somebody needs to increase their emotional intelligence. All right. Perhaps somebody in their childhood was not taught how to regulate their emotions or um, somebody has a chemical imbalance that creates a challenge in regulating emotions or somebody's just afraid and not sure what to do with that fear. A lot of times we're not taught what to do with fear, <laughs> you know, especially in childhood. If that fear is coming from someone who we're supposed to tr trust and have a secure attachment with, okay, then it's no longer a secure attachment if fear is involved. It's probably going to be um, mixed at some point or avoidant even, which this could very well be as well. Maybe somebody is dealing with someone who has an avoidant attachment or you do. All right. But anyway, distress tolerance is the improved acronym. I for imagery. M for meaning. P for prayer. R, relaxation, O, one thing at a time, V for vacation, and E is encouragement. You don't have to take those words literally. I'm not going to go through um, in detail today or right now, but you don't have to take those things literally. All right, I'll just leave it at that. Let's see if we can get some um, tarot guidance. I'm not going to pull a whole lot. All right, I'm going to get out of here soon. I'm here in between 12 and 15. Okay. So that's your time frame. If you were looking for a time frame, weeks, months, minutes, years old, or is that a child? Is there children involved here? What's this? The Knight of Swords. All right. Yeah. The, the thing about anxiety is that it goes farther than the information that you actually have. Okay. Dang, I'm hungry. It's interesting how I've gotten on this um, on this reading on this video, and first thing I said was that I'm thirsty. Now I'm saying I'm hungry. 
My mouth is dry. <laughs> I'm over here struggling through, child, okay? But I wanted to get this message out. And then I will definitely tend to myself, okay? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I needed to say that. Um, I feel like you have or, or you will have new information coming in. You're still learning something. You're still... Uh, let's see what that's about. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Like something's still in the working stages. You're still new or... Or whatever you do, or whatever you want to do would be new, or something still in the developing stages, I feel like, okay? I don't know what that means. Maybe that could be going back to the child, or I'm also getting something about veganism. That was random, but okay. So maybe you're vegan, or you're thinking about changing your eating habits, or something like that. Your beliefs, all right. I feel like you don't have all the information, though, and that's why you have this anxiety. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the hermit. So it's going to take some time. It's going to take some reflection. It's going to take some time alone, likely. Okay, maybe you need time alone. One of those, um, act, one of those words, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. The V is for vacation. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't know how to put the words together. There's the nine of swords. The V is for a vacation, so maybe you need a vacation to clear your head. But the so let's talk about the V, all right? Since we need to talk about something on here, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go on some lavish vacation that costs all the money in your bank account, your savings account, and drain it because you got to get yourself together. No, okay, we're not gonna make an emotional decision that is not practical. Vacation doesn't even have to mean you go anywhere at all. Maybe it means you go out in the backyard. Yeah, I was seeing that actually at the beginning of this reading when I was trying to remember which season we were in because I was seeing earth. I was seeing grass, trees, nature, waterfall, okay? Maybe you need to spend some time in nature. Maybe you're an earth sign. Maybe you are a Virgo. The hermit is Virgo energy regardless. So this is the energy that you're needing to be in or that you're moving into. Yeah, the magician. I feel like you have a lot of questions. Um, the answers are within you. You just have to understand that you are fearless and unbreakable. Okay, encourage yourself. Allow this to be your encouragement. But spend time away. I feel like you need time away. You need to regulate your emotions. You need to take time to identify your emotions so that you can apply them appropriately. Emotions are valuable and they motivate our behaviors. If you are anxious about an exam, you will likely prepare for it. If you feel angry about an injustice, that anger may motivate advocacy. If you feel depressed, then you might increase your activity level and self-care. If you feel attracted to another person, then you might pursue a relationship with him or her. Of course, not every motivation or action urge from emotions is helpful to act on. But the more you regulate your emotions and act from wise mind, the more useful you will find your emotions to be. They're so valuable. They just need regulation, okay? And you have to find what that looks like for you. Thanks so much for being here. Love you guys, see you next time.